Chicago Bulls fans, we are receiving a update regarding Kobe White's availability for tonight's preseason game that's set to take place. And Billy Donovan goes ahead and confirms some things that Lonzo Ball said on his podcast. Y'all know me and C-Dub going to talk about it and break it down, but you know, you got to hear the music first. Come on, yeah. Shy Bulls podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I am with my dog, C-Dub. What's the word? What's the word, man? What up with code, man? Hey, for y'all that's tuning in for the first time, welcome to the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And for our family that's returning, welcome back. But <laughs> C-Dub, we just re received news not too long ago from Casey Johnson saying that Kobe White has groin tightness and did not practice today. And his availability, no, did not practice yesterday. And his, no, today, I'm tweaking. <laughs> and his availability for tomorrow's game is still to be determined. First and foremost, what is your reaction to that? Well, uh, it's just a little tightness in his groin. Uh, they listen to him as questionable uh, for tomorrow's game, what ultimately means uh, since it's a since it's a preseason game, he's not playing tomorrow, and that means it's more opportunities for the young fellas to go out there and hoop. That's I'm it. with you on that. I think that right here is just say that, hey, me personally, I'm sitting Kobe White down for this game. Um, There's yeah. growing tightness. I'd rather allow him the days to go ahead and rest. Um, Right now, during the preseason, the Chicago Bulls have been seeing a number of days, you know, uh, in between games. So I say, why not just use this opportunity just to make sure that the groin is good? Because we do know groin injuries are a bit tricky. You know what I'm saying? They can feel good one day. You can go out and play a couple games, and then that thing flare up right back up on you. Hell, you can walk up a couple stairs, jump off the bottom step, and that thing feel a little weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm with uh, me. If you ask me what I would do, I'd be sitting Kobe White for uh, the preseason game and not be sitting sending him out there. But my question to you, C-Dub, is when it comes to this, situation is it is it is it are we going to see Ayo Dosumo win the starting lineup I would rather see Ayo Dosumo in the starting lineup who knows what Billy Donovan gonna do I'd rather see a lot of kids out there playing with this opportunity man I don't think Kobe White should play any more preseason games he already Ooh. showed that he's ready to play he dropped 21 in the first game he looked explosive he looked quick jump shot looked good I really don't need to see more from Kobe he is ready now let's see let's give opportunities with these last four games to see the rest of the kids out there playing it's perfect you ain't got to worry about it it's just a gift it's a gift from the basketball gods hell I ain't mad at it um me personally I'm I'm hey I'm with giving guys other opportunities as well honestly I would love to see a whole new starting lineup out there not a, you know what I'm saying not saying that Josh Giddy won't be out there or Zach won't be out there but damn I would love to see a Jalen Smith, Monsters Booz Ellis, and Ayo Dosumo out there. I know it's never going to happen. That's just me hey. wishful thinking. I know it's hey. never going to happen. That's just me okay. wishful thinking. But I, I would love just I would love to see it just to see how it looks. You know what I'm saying? As a yeah. starting lineup. But I'm still, at the end of the day, happy that these guys are going to be uh, receiving their opportunities to shine. But C-Dub, along with the Kobe White news that we received, we also received news that Taylor Horton Tucker sat out with calf tightness and will be evaluated tomorrow before the game. But then Billy Donovan, after what Lonzo Ball said on his podcast about the goal is to play the last two or three preseason games um, before heading into the regular season, it was reported by Casey Johnson that Billy Donovan confirmed that plan and but he did mention that the plan is fluid for my people that watch Steven. Stand this mother, bro. Look, look, <laughs> why you could what, 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 <laughs> what happened? Stand Billy, bro. Look, look, maybe this is what happened. I, I, I understand they probably on a court or something, but this is what probably happened. He heard Billy what he was saying. Then Lazo, what I'm about to put this out here on my podcast. He ain't gonna have no choice. <laughs> 
<laughs> he ain't no gonna have no choice. He said, nigga, I'm playing the last two or three games, bro. What is you talking about? And then Villian. Uh, but the the uh, situation is shut up, bro. We know why it would be fluid. I understand what he's saying. He might not be feeling well after a stint in a game or something like that. But you ain't got to say that. Obviously, we already know that. Billy getting on my nerves early in the season, <laughs> Effie. Getting on my nerves. Hey, I ain't mad at you, but hey, I'm just good. I'm just happy. I ain't going to lie. I'm just happy to hear that the plan is in place. Whether he's going to play three games or two games, I'm cool with it. I'd rather him play the three games. You know what I'm saying? I do understand the situation could be fluid, but I'd rather see him go out in that third game, play, see how he react, and then go from there. I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? We, I agree with you. We kind of knew that the situation is fluid because we want to, obviously, we have to see how he responds to basketball activities. So I guess Billy Donovan just said, you know, just added a little bit on to what we already knew. But I'm not too mad at the comments at all. You know what I'm saying? But I am happy that the goal is we asked for the goal. Remember we did the live the other day? We asked for the goal. Well, I asked for the goal. What's the goal for him? What's the plan for him? This is the plan. The last three preseason games. Billy with the tit for tat. He probably ain't tell Lonzo to do that shit on this podcast. And a little tit for tat at the end. Fluid. It's going to be flu. Shut the it just pissed me off, nephew. <laughs> Shut You'll up, be Billy. Day, dog. Don't even worry about it. Don't even Damn. stress him. He been tweaking, nephew. Just admit. Could you admit he been tweaking lately, bro? Billy Donovan? Just been tweaking. Yeah, been bro. With his mouth. that has been a bit questionable. You know what I'm saying? Bro, he, been tweaking, he probably bro. picked that up for Nick Olavusevic. I ain't going to lie. Is it, is it a lot of pressure? Seriously, is it a lot of pressure on him? You think he feels pressure to... I don't know if they want to win. Win. They say they want to win every game, but do you think it's pressure either to get these young fellas right or to win games? Is, is he on some? Because he's been talking. His rhetoric been different this season. It's been a little different. It is pressure on Billy Donovan because you don't have Demar to lean on. You don't have Ke Caruso to lean on anymore. Now you got a new iteration of teams, and your number one goal is to not only develop the young talent on the squad but win as many games as possible that's a difficult task so there is a lot of pressure on them and you got to figure out is josh giddy the starting point guard for the future or do you need to look elsewhere is nikola vucevic the center of the season not the future because i ain't going that far is nikola vucevic the center of the season let us know figure it out how do your rotations look? What do you do with Montez Buzelis? Do you kick Catfish his dumbass hoodie and his mixed match <laughs> shoes to the curb? Or do you start and, and, and give Tory Craig some minutes? He got a lot of things on his plate right now, bro. That's all oh, I'm going to say. Oh, you mean he got a coach? He got to do his damn job. <laughs> That's, That's what you mean? <laughs> but it's okay. different because the, the only reason I'm saying it's a bit different, though, and uh, hear me Whoa. out just real quick before we get up out of here because we just want to bring in the update. Hear me out. It's a bit different because typically when you say we want to develop players, you kind of shove or push. We want to win as many games to the side. But his goal or what his objectives or tasks has been placed in front of him, those tasks have said you got to win a lot of games and develop talent. It's different. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> that's definitely one of those good luck moments for billy oh, donovan man. and uh this squad but hey we just wanted to give you guys this quick update c dub do you got anything left hey um make sure y'all stay tuned we appreciate all the love we almost to 7k man i think we like 40 or 35 uh away from uh 7k man we appreciate all the love make sure y'all punch that subscribe button Make sure y'all hit that like button as well, man. Make sure y'all do what it do. And uh, hit that like button and subscribe. We appreciate the, the love y'all been showing over here. Hey, we hope to get the 7K before the start of the season. That's in a couple weeks. That's in a couple weeks. So share this with your mama's mama and your mama's mama. And make sure we that we can go ahead and hit that target. Because we got that fire. Y'all already know. And in the meantime, in between time. Make sure you hit that like button. If you want to call in and be a part of the mailbag episode, call in, state your name, leave your take. The number is in the center of your screen, 773-242-9219.
Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all always see red. Y'all already know. We're going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Now, if you always talking about somebody, mama, bro. Come on, call your mama's mama. <laughs> <laughs>